This is a real life pet. You can get one by providing them with love and comfort. This is a digital pet. You can get one by throwing balls at it. Anyways, in the next week, I'll be challenging myself to complete the first generation Pokedex in the game Pokemon Go. Oh, it's a coaster! 151 Pokemon, 7 days. Okay, we got him! Can it be done? This feels almost impossible. Now before we get started, here are some ground rules to keep us in check. I cannot spoof, meaning no GPS rigging or location trackers for rare spawns. Also, I cannot trade Pokemon with other people. With those out of the way, let's get started on day number one. Oh, there's a Pokemon nearby. What could our first ones be? It's like I knew what our first ones could be. It's the three starter Pokemon just procedurally generated. I'm gonna pick, uh, I think, Charmander because that's my favorite starters out of the original three. There we go, we caught him. First registry to the Pokedex. Oh my god, this feels so exciting. Okay, so this is our guy, Professor, uh, I think his name is Willow. He's congratulating me. What should my name be? Big Dog Boy. This name is not available. Oh my god, Dog Boy with an I. None of these are available. You need some Pokeballs and some useful items during exploration. Also, just randomly leveled up. Uh, I didn't even do anything. I haven't even walked to the Pokestop yet. Okay, so we got to our first Pokestop. All we have to do is click on this, give it a spin, and boom, we got just so many things. We got our first egg, and eggs are pretty important because there are only a few Pokemon that you can actually get from eggs. <laughs> Unfortunately, no Gen 1 Pokemon actually came from these eggs. I didn't even know how to check what was in the eggs when I was playing this game, so you would just see me get excited for no reason at all later in this video. But we finally unlocked the nearby Pokemon radar. There's a bunch of things, and I see a bunch that are already Gen 1, so uh, we're gonna try to go and uh, walk around town, search for anything that I can catch. You see this little grass thing right here? It says catch 30 normal type Pokemon. You will get a special encounter from this uh, quest right here. And these are really important because some of them actually gives you uh, rare drops that you might not find in uh, just by going around searching for. Oh, oh, my first Gen 1 Pokemon. First ever Pokedex entry that I've caught in the wild. Awesome. We got another one. This should be really easy to catch as well. He's 10 CP. Another entry to the Gen 1 Pokedex. That's awesome. I'm level 6. That was super fast. Damn. Okay, so I'm looking at the uh, quest from here. One of these is really simple. Take four snapshots of your Pokemon. What I'm gonna do to my Charmander. This thing actually has AR. So if this can be integrated into, uh, let's say, the Vision Pro, everybody's gonna be playing that. Uh, can I throw it? Hi. There we go. Oh, it's, it's our boy Charmander. I don't have any hands to pet you. So I'm gonna use my knee. Hey man, how's it going? But you can see him right here. He's he's literally almost lifelike. There you go. Oh my god, that's so funny. All right, anyways, time to catch some more Gen 1 Pokemon. And so I followed up with a simple stroll around the neighborhood, adding a Pharaoh, a Diglett, and a Sparrow to our Pokedex. Oh my god, I see it, the duo. It's so far away too. I think it's time for us to use another method of transportation. So let me just preface, do not play this game while driving, okay? You will crash your car. Don't be a stupid person, be a smart person. Live. So we are here where the, the duo would have been, but uh, it's gone. It's legitimately gone. And I'm level seven now. I just caught a Weedle. <laughs> I'm level seven. That's awesome. I see something cooler, a Rhyhorn. And it's also on the other side of this place. Oh wow, that's really far away. Come on. Hopefully this guy doesn't despawn like the duo. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the ride on, and uh, it's a green circle, which means that it might not be that hard to catch him. Yes, there we go. We got him. I spent the rest of the day filling up my Pokedex with relative ease, continuing late into the night as some of the rare spawns begin to appear. Let's go. <laughs> At the end of the day, I went home with 26 unique species out of the original 151. But we are just getting started. Caught like 20 Pokemon, no big deal on the first day. But today we're going to be going on a path from one side of town to the other. Hopefully we get some uh, lucky spawns along the way. Because if we don't get any lucky spawns, I don't think we're going to do this. The thing about this game is that every single day, your chances of meeting the Pokemon that you actually need diminishes by like, I don't know, 50%. Just because the same ones could spawn over and over. And you might just never see the one that you actually need. So this is going to be tough. Ah, uh, guys, there is a map. Magikarp up ahead. I think the Magikarp is one of the most uh, troublesome Pokemon for me to evolve. Evolutions in this game is pretty unique. As there are no Pokemon battles to level up your team, these new types of evolution candies are introduced. Each Pokemon has their own unique candy, and you can obtain candies by catching said Pokemon or their evolution form, or by making them your walking buddy. Evolving a Magikarp proves 
quite a challenge, as you would need 400 total candies. This translates to roughly 133 Magikarps caught or 400 kilometers walked as your buddy. In comparison, a Pidgey requires 12 candies to evolve. Blatant racism. All right, we got him. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay. So our 10k egg is gonna hatch. Please be Dratini. Oh, damn it. Aside from me being a complete bozo, my luck in fighting rare spawns was actually quite extraordinary. The Gen 1 Pokemon kept on coming, filling my Pokedex one by one. I then reached the Skytrain station, and that's when the chase actually began. As the train left the station, I saw that an Executor spawned nearby. Not wanting to miss out on this opportunity, I knew I had to go back. The entire way, I nervously grasped my phone and prayed that the Pokemon didn't despawn. It's still there. I think. Oh. It said it fled. Oh no. That fucking sucks. That was a huge bummer, but I got on the bus and headed over to my school, where my luck in finding Gen 1s began to, let's just say, overperform. Marowak. We got Marowak. He's exactly at a. 240 CP. That's a nice number. You may have noticed that we unlocked the Ultra Ball. Gives me an extra advantage on trying to capture these uh, Pokemon. 10k egg again. Come on, please be Dratini. Please be Dratini. Oh my god, what the frick is that? That's not Dratini. So right here we have a gym battle. Uh, it's a uh, raid boss on the Pinsir. That's something we actually need and let's go and try to fight that. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, why are you bothering with raid battles anyways? These three star kind of monster, nobody really wants them. The Pokemon are really not strong enough to beat these battles. This is where this comes in. A second account. I have another account that's level 38 and it's gonna help me beat this battle. Just compare, just compare these characters this is this is hilarious the actual difference in power is is just immaculate this is insane yes we beat him oh we got the final strike <laughs> that's funny hopefully we get the spencer because uh <laughs> it would be unfortunate if we don't we got it on the first shot nice go and on my stroll around my school i found this real life spawn i tried catching it with my balls but it didn't work anyways enjoy this compilation of me filling up my pokedex Anyways, my journey eventually ended me up in Metro Town, and I found one of the weirdest Pokemon of Generation 1. This? You can't tell me that this is not an actual human. Doesn't matter, I still caught her in my balls. Then the radar showed a Hitmon Lee nearby, so I went to go get it. Oh shit, we might not be able to go through. There it is. It's, it's locked. Oh yes, we got him. Oh my god, I had to literally run from that place over here. Literally Bruce Lee inspired this Pokemon, that's so cool. It's 12 o'clock and there's a Snorlax. Do you guys see that? It's a Snorlax. Oh my god, it's legit next to my house. I'm gonna go outside and grab it. You guys can see, that's a little park right there. I am dressed in a t-shirt. I got myself a Snorlax. Woo! Oh my god, this is the best day ever. Oh, let me catch him. I can't believe it spawned right next to where I lived. Oh, this is so awesome. Okay, hopefully we get... Okay, okay, you better not run from me, please. I'm gonna use a golden Raz. Please? 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 Yes! Okay, we got him! We got him! Oh, we got a Snorlax! Oh my god, he was one of the hardest ones to get. Oh, and also a Mankey. Oh my god, okay, there's there's a Slowpoke? Yo, what's going on? There's like a bunch of stuff nearby. We're checking off so many of these today. I'm so excited. Day 2 was now complete, resulting in 46 of the original 151. Day 3, however, started off with another massive bang. Oh my god, no way we got a Gyarados. This is insane. Oh, please let me get him. I do not want to grind that 400 candy for that Magikarp, please. Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh my god, we got him. This, however, was a celebration done too early. I was not relieved from the 400 candy curse because later I would learn that a quest that was vital to our challenge required us to evolve a Magikarp. And there's also a Dratini. What the frick? Ah, oh, that's pretty far. I, I don't care. Let's get him. We have finally encountered the Dratini. Uh, we are going to try to catch this. One, two, three. Bam! Oh my god. On the usual walk that I walk towards the bus stop, there's a Needle Queen and a Voltorb. This is insane. I thought these were going to be like the worst things to get. We got the Electrode. Where's the Needle Queen? Oh, there it is. All right, let's go. There we go, Needle Queen. Done. As I continued walking, I found myself a Charmeleon. Excellent throw, let's go. One, two, 
three, bam. That's how we do it here. This time, as I got on the bus, my entire way, we were killing it with rare spawns. It was actually insane. For example, I really wanted to scream here, but I can't because there's people nearby. As I got to my destination, which was my school again, I saw Blastoise and an Executor. But unfortunately, the Blastoise fled, which absolutely just destroyed my spirits. Okay guys, the Executor has not despawned. Hopefully it doesn't flee away. Yes, we got him. That was two days worth of searching. Finally this guy, holy. There's also a Detrio on the other side. Come on, yes, we got him. Then I decided that since I haven't seen any rare water spawns, I'm gonna go to the beach. Oh my God, another Snorlax, this is insane. Yes, let's go. Third Snorlax, insane, what? Saw a few Pokemon that were new, but unfortunately not that many were Gen 1. Overall, it had some disappointing returns, but my spirit would once again be lit up once I got back to school. No way, on the other side of the school. Oh my god, I... <laughs> what, what is my luck? This is insane, we're gonna go grab it real quick. Holy shit. That's right, a Blastoise. We got him. And then the rare spawn just kept on coming. Vaporeon, guys. I know some of your weird ass people will be really excited for Vaporeon, but at least we got it. Okay, so we are back in a sort of familiar setting. Out of these three days, we caught a whole load of Pokemon. Just looking at the Pokedex, we have 79 in total. We have almost all the starters completed. It's just Charizard. But right now, I wanna do something. I wanna evolve some Pokemon, just to get them out of the way. It's always exciting to see your little guys grow bigger. Oh, wow. I really wonder how many we'll get to once uh, this whole thing is completed. That's everything we have for now. A little bit less than what I actually imagined. Let's see, in total we have 87 out of 151. A little bit more than halfway, but uh, the grind still continues. We got four more days. I'm sure we'll do much better later on. Okay, I just caught, see this? I caught two executors in a span of two minutes, just walking around that corner right there. Tell me about luck. Sometimes life is literally irony. Okay, so I know I said I was gonna go home to rest, but I just opened my phone and Guess what? Ghastly and Venonat that I don't have in my Pokedex. Which means that we're gonna catch him. So our first Ghastly has been caught. Uh, I think there's gonna be a little bit of an issue if it only spawns at night. But I also do see a Golbat and a Venonat that we're gonna go grab. What? A Wild Sand Slash just to spawn. What? Oh. What? It saves me so much time. The gods of this game are blessing me today. So we might not be able to reach that Golbat because take a look at this. That's the location. This whole entire sanction is uh, blocked off. I'll go around, see if I can get to that location, but if I can, it's just tough luck. Oh, never mind. I think I can get to it. There's like a low spot here. We got the Golbat. It was a really sketchy looking alleyway, but I caught it. And uh, now I think I'm gonna go back because it's one o'clock in the morning and uh, gotta rest because the entire day tomorrow, I still need to be spent on catching more freaking Pokemon. I'm gonna go crazy. Day 4 began, and since my last day on the bus did so well, I implemented the bus strat once again today. And right off the bat, we were popping the frick off. Even Machamp decided to show up. But that wasn't even the craziest part of the day. Introducing the shiny Pokemon. What if I told you that on top of a random encounter, the Pokemon also has a 1 in 500 chance of being a completely different color than its original? That is exactly what happened when I encountered this random Lapras. My hands were shaking as I did not want to lose my first ever shiny and also one of the most rare spawns for generation 1. It jumped out a few times which made me super nervous but eventually it was caught. After that crazy encounter, my luck continued to skyrocket as I kept on catching Gen 1 after Gen 1s, filling up my empty Pokedex. I even caught a Pikachu as my 100th entry to the Pokedex, which I found really fitting. I got off the bus because I saw a Nidorino up ahead. Look at my Magikarp, flipping about. That looks so stupid. Please pop out. There he is. Alright. 
We got him. And also, just nearby was a Raichu spawn. I can't believe my luck right now. I am back home, tired as frick, but very satisfied by uh, what I've accomplished after these days. It is 8 o'clock at night. I'm gonna take a rest because tonight we're gonna go ghost hunting. Okay, everybody, guess where we are at? We are at King Cemetery. <laughs> That's right. It's 11 o'clock and uh, we're here to see if we can get some uh, ghost Pokemon. This, is, this place is actually pretty chill. There's like nobody here. There's like a bunch of squeaking noises right over there. I'm not walking over there. I'm walking that way. But you guys can see the uh, bunch of tombstone. There's a really big one right here. Uh, there's some small ones right there. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm allowed to be in this place because it's uh, it says it closes at 4. So it, I might be like trespassing. So I'm just going to take a walk right next to it. Like down this road right here. Next to the... Um, next to the cemetery. Oh my god, we fucking caught a haunter. Yeah, I'm basically at the end of the block. Um, doesn't seem to be that many ghost type Pokemons here, which is kind of unfortunate. I think I'm gonna go back, yeah. So I'm back in the car and just gonna say it, that was sketchy as frick. We caught the haunter and that's probably the best that we could have done. Uh, Gengar, I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna find him anytime soon. I'm gonna go back home and get some rest because tomorrow is a really special day. It's day 5 and today it's special because it's a community day. This is where the creators of this game picks out a random Pokemon out of the thousands and give it a really high increased spawn rate and shiny chances. I decided to join a local meetup happening down at Science Road. I have not seen so many people just playing Pokemon Go since maybe 2016. This gave me a big hit of nostalgia as I was enjoying my game, but soon I would come to find out that this day was actually a curse. Every single encounter was now a Bowsprout. He was Gen 1, but I was sick of looking at his face, so I went to a McDonald's to grab something to eat. This community day puts a big wrench in my plans. This is more of a curse than uh, an actual helpful day. So we'll wait until after 6 o'clock when all the normal spawns come back, and then I guess we'll go around uh, catching more stuff. We have arrived home before the community day ends and the uh, spawns become regular. I want to evolve some of our Pokemon. Ah, there we go. That is just too satisfying to do. Let's see my Pokedex. We are at 120. Oh my god, we have 31 left. We still have half an hour before the community day ends. Afterwards, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna ride some more buses, see what Pokemon we could find. There's an Omanite. What, what is his name? O Omi Omiya Knight? That is so good for us. I don't need to catch some Omi stars anymore because those guys are like almost impossible to find. Okay, buddy. Yes, we got him. Yes. Omi star. Wait, his name is Omi star. The other guy is Omi Knight. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We got him. That is how we roll. Okay, no freaking way. I just walked the other side. And then a Starmie spawn. Look, a Starmie. I don't know if it's glitching out, but everything else is a, is, is a bell sprout for some reason. Don't tell me I got scammed. The Starmie became a bell sprout. I legitimately don't understand what happened here. The community day was supposed to be over, but uh, I guess it just came back to haunt me. Anyways, I went back on my usual route, and eventually I found myself a gold duck. But then disaster struck. My account was locked out for some reason. I tried everything, logging back in, re-downloading the app, but nothing worked. At this point, I thought that all my work I put in this game was completely lost. Except that it turns out that it was just a server error that they were having. And 15 minutes later, I was back on my feet. Where is my gold duck? Oh my god. We oh my god, we got him. Yes! Boom! That's how we got banned. Mm. I got on the bus again and then out of nowhere, a shiny scissor appeared. I cannot make this up. But ultimately, my luck did run out. So my worst fear has came to light. I walked all around my school and I did not see any Pokemon that I still needed. So let's just say that the next two days are gonna be pretty rough, I would have to imagine. I'm on the way back home, but then I look at my Pokemon Go and I see the rarest spawn I've ever seen. It's a seal. Oh my lord, we got him. Wow, this is such a rare spawn for me. I have not seen him 
once in the past five days. And then a Gyarados because my, I guess my luck is back. They're only good for 12 Magikarp candies though. I ended day number five with 123 Pokemons registered. Oh my God. It's that same park where I found the Gyarados. I found the Snorlax and now it has a Dratini. You really shouldn't have, you know? Ah, oh, damn it, now it says that there's a Godin in there. It's, it's literally right there. Okay, I'm gonna go. I see somebody there. Okay, I think that guy's gone. We shall head over. We're gonna book it as soon as we have the, the spawn. Okay, it's spawned. It's uh, day six. I've been walking 15,000 steps every single day for the past five days. My legs have basically like completely given up. I'm also going to be going to Richmond, which is the city uh, that's beside, uh, to have food and watch a movie with a friend. The 2001 Space Odyssey, Stanley Kubrick's classic. I haven't seen it, you know, catch some Pokemon along the way, but today I can't really dedicate the entire day to Pokemon. Hope you guys understand. Just got out of Space Odyssey. Let me tell you, I, for the last 15 minutes of the film, where it just became pure like acid trip. I have no idea what was going on. Let's open our Pokemon Go app and see what we have here. There's a Nido Reno and also Magikarp. Those are things that we need. Yep, they're right over there it looks like and uh, we'll go and catch them. We are at 375 candies for the Magikarp and oh, we have 102 candy for the Nido Reno. We can evolve a Nido King. Awesome, I'm gonna wait for the last day to evolve everything. I really hope that we can get somewhere close to 151. But deep down, I didn't believe myself. It was difficult to find new Pokemon. And with one last day left, I was certain I wasn't even gonna come close to that 151. But then, a game changer. Something incredible happened today. The game had a complete overhaul and to celebrate, Gen 1 Pokemon are spawning at a higher rate. Just this morning, I caught myself a Gloom, a Porygon, and now I'm catching a Venonat. This honestly couldn't have came at a better time. It's almost like it's scripted or something, but I guarantee you, I did not know that this was happening. Originally yesterday, I was totally down. I didn't think we were gonna complete this event because of how difficult it was to find new Pokemon, but now my spirits have lifted up again. And with my hope rekindled, I continued on venturing into the wild. Wait, there he is. Random Alakazam, what? <laughs> we got him. Look what we have, a Shelter spawn. Oh my God, that's probably one of the most rare spawns of all time. And also a Golem on the other side of town. We'll try to get it if we can. But Shelter is more important because we already have enough candy to evolve a Geodude. Yeah, there we go, the Shelter. All right, the Golem. Let's go, let's do this. Boom, we got the golem and we are now at exactly 130 cancel Pokemon caught out of the 151. Oh, it's a Coyster. Oh my God, it's a Coyster, Coyster just spawned. Oh my God, this is super rare. I definitely need this. I just like to comment on the UI. It's, it's so much different than before. There's also like clouds that are casting shadows on the, uh, the ground, which is really cool. And also every time you encounter like a Pokemon, the background sometimes changes depending on where exactly you are. Hi. Hi. Uh, oh, hi. TV. Yes. Can we ask you a quick question? Uh, okay, sure. So, yeah. uh, do you know BC is doing the decriminalization? They're decriminalizing people who have, who are possessing like small portion of drugs. I have no idea. <laughs> not, not too sure about that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, though. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> what? Scott. Interviewed by a news crew. What? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. It's right next to it. Onyx 2. What? For those of you who don't know, that was a really old meme. Yes, we got him. So I walked around the coastline searching for water type Pokemon. I was finding undiscovered Pokemons left and right. Eventually, my radar showed a slow bro, which was on the other side of the riverbank. I had to cross a bridge in order to catch it, but I wasn't letting that stop me. Getting off the bridge, I came across this barricade, but I saw this guy going across on the pillar, so I did the same as well. I don't know why this place was barricaded, because the road worked completely fine. But just as a fair warning, don't do this at home, kids. And eventually, I caught the slow bro. Oh my god, a bioplume. Oh my god, it spawned. 1900 CP. Three, there we go. 
We got it. Oh my god. This I thought we weren't gonna get this. Oh okay. Oh okay. However, that is the last caught entry of the generation one Pokedex. Because in the next four hours, I couldn't find a single thing. Alright, fellas, it's time for us to evolve. Yes, Nido King. Tinta cruel, but he's not cool anymore. Into the Dugon. Gengar, boom. My boy Gengar. Star you into star me, let's go. Kapow! There we go. But there is one last one that we still want. Over the course of last week, I had been completing quests. From evolving a Magikarp, to battling 10 times in a gym, oh to catching God, wait, dittos. Wait, I think we got a ditto. Tell me this is a ditto. Yes! These all amounted for us to encounter one specific Pokemon. It's Mew. Wait. Oh, I can't use AR on this. <clears throat> he turns invisible. Okay, so he's gonna be our 142nd catch. This is a guarantee catch, by the way. He can't run. Booyah! There we go! Bam! bam Mew, that's our last Pokemon. Oh, wow. And that is where we end. After 120 kilometers, 1,000 Pokemon caught, I was able to catch 142 out of the 151. The Pokemons I couldn't catch were first three regionals. They only existed outside North America. I was hoping that there were actually quests that allowed you to get these regionals, but unfortunately, that was not the case. Then there was Hypno and Dragonite. I didn't get them because I didn't see them in the wild or get enough candies to evolve their pre-evolution forms. Then came the three legendary birds as well as Mewtwo. I could have got the birds through daily incense as there are Lolan versions could have spawned. I even saw Moltres once, but it fled because its catch rate was extremely low. Mewtwo, you can only get him through special invites, so I'm not even gonna think about that. What an absolute journey, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support me, because you can see how much effort I put into this stuff, like, follow, do your stuff, comment. I love you guys. See you guys in the next one.